crush on Hannah's and making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. <sighs> Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. I am. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. this weekend. Josh. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Mm. Oh my god, what did our naive sister get herself into now? I got your note. I'm glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh my god. Matt, 
What are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's all got out of hand, Just but... a stupid prank. Uh. Oh, hey. You guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah! Josh! Josh! Fuck! Guys! There's someone outside! What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Hannah, back. Shit! 
before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right, we will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Oh, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? Sunshine. <laughs> I see. So which word would best describe how you feel about darkness? Afraid, really? That's interesting. Where I come from, way up north in Sweden, the nights are 18 hours long. <laughs> and why do you think you're afraid of the dark? Well, it's a perfectly natural fear. Darkness, after all, is the unseen and therefore the unknown. And what could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty? Oh dear, we seem to be out of time for this session. We'll talk again soon. Until then, I suggest you try to stay away from dark places.
one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Listeners, an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough. 